guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. And I am so excited about today's video. I like fresh out of the shower, but I couldn't put this off any longer. It is time for me to go over my Southern Charm Readathon TBR. Um said I don't even know what I almost said but it is time for me to talk about my Southern Charm Readathon TBR hosted by Amanda and Chrissy's Purple Library and Lindsay Lou Lemus and I think there are a co couple other co-hosts that I can't remember off the top of my head so if there are I'm very very sorry that I miss you um here is the the bingo card it gives the whole list the prompts Amaze balls! I'm so excited about them. Oh, I love the South. I think truly I was meant to be a Southern Southern Belle. Really, am I? No, but oh man, it's somewhere in my bloodline. Truly, it is. Um, but I am very excited. These prompts are absolutely perfect for all things Southern. I have so much love for all the southern things in this little heart of mine. This will also double as my May TBR since the uh, readathon does go through the whole month of May. Please feel free to join in. You don't have to do a, a book for every single prompt. I personally do have a book for every prompt um, but you can take one book and apply it to as many prompts as possible. If you want you can have a book for every prompt. You can just do one prompt. If you read a book that happens to squeeze in and fit into one of these prompts, guess what? Congratulations! You were a part of the Southern Charm Readathon in May of 2023. Without further ado, I'm just going to jump into my TBR. I did print out the bingo card, so I have it because it is just too stinking cute. Amanda did such a good job creating it. So, let's get into the prompts and then the books that I chose. First is Bless Your Heart. It is an emotional or heartwarming book, and for that, I chose The Paper Daughters of Chinatown. This is by Heather B. Moore and Allison Hong Merrill, and this is a young reader's adaptation of the adult book of the same name that Heather Moore wrote. I have not personally read the adult version, um, but when they reached out to me and asked me to review this, I at first wasn't going to because I don't typically talk about like young readers or um, like middle grade YA like that's not really my typical genre that I talk about but the more I read about the story and the more I looked into it the more I was just like mm, yeah I think I definitely want to read this so on the back it is based on the true story of two friends who unite to help rescue immigrant women and girls in San Francisco's China house Chinatown in the late 1890s. So again, this is the adapted version of the adult book. The adult one is, um, I think a little more, it's like a little graphic. Um, and it's just, again, I haven't read it, but from the synopsis that I read in some of the reviews, um, people said it was really emotional. So I'm sure the emotions are still going to hit hard in the young, the young version is sweet tea. Mm, mm, mm. My daddy raised me on some good southern sweet tea. My grandma is from Tennessee and she, her mom, so my granny taught her how to make sweet tea and grandma taught my dad, dad taught my mom, mom taught me. All the aunts know it. I mean, sweet tea, I, no, I'm not going to make the blatant statement that sweet tea is sweet tea because it is not um, but our family follows the same sweet tea recipes and we just call it grandma sweet tea. Um, but mm -mm -mm, there is something about a good cup of sweet tea. Mm, a good cup. There's some rough ones out there. But I'm going to end up digressing this whole every time I read a prompt because they're just so fun. Um, but this prompt is a book with something sweet on the cover or a sweet story. And this one I took some liberties on because all the books that I chose I tried to choose books that were on my TBR shelf that I need to read for review and stuff like that um and I didn't have any on my shelf that had anything sweet on it or like anything like that in the cover 
but I did go with Betsy by Sarah Monzen. These are the old covers. She has recently redone them. Um, but I took the liberty in the spine because I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But it says, Betsy, a sweet romantic comedy. So that's that. I started this a while ago and um, did a, like I set it down for a while. We'll see if I can finish it. I might DNF it. We'll see. But I love Sarah typically. I love the other books in the series. I just might not have been in the mood for it at that time. But I'm hoping to try to push through and finish it. This one is book five and the final book in the Sewing and SoCal series. And this is about Betsy. And this is a musician romance. So she is a sound engineer. And the guy is a lead singer for a Christian worship band. Um... And she just has this thing against dating musicians, and she's an interesting character. Uh, she's a little spiteful, I'm not going to lie. Like, I put it down because I did not care for her character in the beginning. So I'm hoping that there's some redemption for her. It's a reverse grumpy sunshine, so she's supposed to be the grump, and he's supposed to be, like, this fun, loving guy. Um, and typically I'm good for that, but hers almost comes off as bitterness, and she just jumps to conclusions and she's just not a very nice person so i'm struggling with that but hopefully there's some redemption for her and hopefully i'll pick it up and enjoy it next is hot as blue blazes a book with a hot setting and i went with the buy-in by the beautiful emma st Clair. this is book one in her graham's brother series the sheet cake series I don't know it is based in Texas um, in a fictional town of sheet cake and I am very very excited to be reading this I'm buddy reading this with a couple girls on Instagram so I was happy to squeeze it into the prompt as well so super excited I love Emma she is crazy talented she is a clean closed door author um, not Christian fiction but her books are clean Next is Heavens to Betsy. This is a mystery or thriller that will shock you. And are we going to be shocked with the author that I'm picking for this category? No. But the book will shock me. I have a couple books by Jamie Jo Wright that I could pick from, but I have been wanting to read The Premonition at Withers Farm for forever. So I'm very excited. I started this at some point, I guess, because I'm 56 pages in, but I don't remember a stinking thing. So I will be restarting this. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited. We love a good shocking mystery spooky book. Next is a free space, thanks to Southern Hospitality. And I am still going to put a book in this space. Um, I know some people aren't. They're just using it since it's a bingo card. I am going to be putting our Christian Booktube buddy read in for this. So this month we landed for our wheel. It was nonfiction and we chose to read a book of the Bible. So we will be taking May to read the book of Ruth. Um, so I will be reading Ruth in the month of May and I'm going to use that in the free space as well. Again, it's a bingo card. You don't need to put anything here. It's there for free space, but you know how to play bingo, it's fine. Next is All the Fixins, a book in multiple genres. And for this, I'm crazy excited. This had so much hype when it first came out. And then book two is just came out. And the hype for the first book is skyrocketing again. And I'm so excited and I'm ready to get on the bandwagon. And that is When the Day Comes by Gabrielle Meyer. Super excited. This is book one in her Timeless series. I think that's what it's called. Yes, Timeless. Book two just came out. It's absolutely stunning. Here you go. Um, I am very much excited to read this. And this is a split time, time travel, historical romance type thing. I think there's romance. I'm assuming there is. Yes, because this says right there, historical romance. So this is a mix of all kinds of all kinds of genres, and I'm very excited to read this. I've heard it deals with some heavier topics, um, so I will be prepared for that. Next is Chicken and Dumplings, and this is a book that you think will be a comfort read. And for this, I okay, y'all, I should not have had such an issue picking a book for this prompt, but I did. 
because a lot of the books on my review shelves are like really hard hitting books all of a sudden like I was looking and I was like these are all going to be so emotional <laughs> and I while I love a good emotional read that's not typically what I go for as a comfort read I do typically tend toward to go towards the historical side in some aspect for comfort because I, I love them but recently I have been on this major rom-com kick and I just loved loved the books so I switched gears no emotional so I chose to switch away from my historical side and I also steered away from my review this is just going to be for fun and I think to me that's a comfort read and I have a feeling this series is going to be a comfort read but more than anything this author is a comfort author she's auto buy I'm over analyzing I'm over explaining y'all don't care you just want to hear what book I chose and that is the bluff this is book two in the Grand Brothers Sheet Cake series. I really don't remember what it's called, but I am very excited. I have a feeling that the series will be um, a favorite. And like comfort reads are just so, I don't, I don't know. I, I struggle with this prompt for some crazy reason. It was great. It's ridiculous. The next prompt is, hey y'all, a book with more than one POV, and for that I went with Memory Lane by Becky Wade. This is book one in her Sons of Scandal series, and I'm pretty positive this is a dual point of view from the like little bit that I went through it, it was dual point of view, and I'm pretty sure that Becky writes in dual POVs. So. If not, I will fit it somewhere else, but I really do want to read this. I've heard wonderful things about it, and it's spring slash summer. It's really just spring, um, and it's just time for all of the good rom comings. so that is what we will be doing. The last prompt is Howdy Partner, a book featuring friendship or found family, and for this I went in Honor's Defense by Karen Wittemeyer. This is book three in the Hanger's Horseman series, and if you know anything about this series, you know that it is about a found family and friendship. Uh, this one, I'm not sure how much is going to be in it since he is the last horseman to find his perfect match. So we shall see, but I'm sure the other guys will make an appearance. They just have to. But this is found family and friendship. And again, if not, if that doesn't work in that prompt, we will readjust anything because Karen Winemeyer is a comfort author of mine. So, yeah. Anywho, it is upstairs, but I will also be buddy reading Blind Dates, Bridesmaids, and Other Disasters by Aspen Hadley with Caitlin um, on Instagram, but she's also here on YouTube. She just came back, so welcome back to the platform, my friend. Uh, but we will be buddy reading that in May, in the next few weeks, I believe. We've been trying to plan this for the last few months and life is just straight crazy. So we shall see. But that is also on my main TBR. And as of now, I think that's it. If anything pops up, any buddy reads that I said I was going to do, if any extra buddy reads pop up, or if I change things around, or somehow get like this burst of reading motivation that has seemed, has seems to have left me this month already. Um... Maybe I'll read more books. We'll see. But these are the books. <gasps> these are the books for this my TBR. Look at that stack. It's a pretty nice mixture of genres. So I don't think that I'll be bored, which is nice because I am very much a mood reader. Um, but there's a little something for each one of my moods in here. And I'm really excited and pumped to be getting into this readathon and to be doing it and Amanda thank you so much for hosting it it is so much fun I cannot wait um I will link Amanda's TBR down in the bottom and also the announcement video um so you can all you can check all that out uh, I will find out who the other co-host that's the word I'm looking for I'll find out who the other co-hosts are and link their channels below so you can have all that um yeah let me know if you're joining in on this. Um, thanks for coming along with my, just my un, unkeptness of, of wet hair and 
a terrible accent because y'all I'm not from the south but I sure wish I was all right let me know in the comments below if you are joining in on the southern readathon char southern charm readathon uh, this month let me know what books are on your TBR or if you did a TBR video link it down below I'd love to watch it and comment and find some new booktubers to watch love it want to support everybody um, but yeah I think that's it don't forget, you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. Oh, my, uh, oh, and my Instagram. I, I'm a hot mess. It's been a while since I filmed, obviously. You can check out my Instagram at for the love of Christian Fiction, and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!